Right. For my intros, I'm back to talking about how I don't actually have an intro. Again, uh, I should probably look into getting some better material. Welcome back to Cave Colonization episode 49. Today's episode hopefully is going to be something kind of the same but also a little bit different depending on if I'm actually able to do what I want to do. Because I don't exactly have a lot of time to do this because once again I've waited until the last minute, we are going to just head down there. Okay, we're over here today, uh, across the way. The other buildings are back there. Uh, once again, we're joined by Doc Benson here. Yeah, I guess I'll just start building. Right, so we'll start with the pillars as usual, but this is going to be the first of probably, well, I don't know about probably, but hopefully some, some builds that span a lot more area. What am I doing? So I need stone bricks. Once again, it's it's morning and I have nothing to say. So this is this is a great video already. Oh my gosh, I really am. I never really do get better at this, do I? Right. So it looks like I'm running a little bit low on stone bricks, and that's kind of ass. But oh, I said ass crap. Well, thankfully, um, this is gonna have some polished andesite in it anyway. So yeah, I didn't really count the amount of stone bricks I needed. I just thought I'd wing it and hope I'd have enough. But it looks like. That is another terrible idea by me. I have those quite a lot, actually. Uh, this video is already scuffed. That didn't take very long, but I, I think it's fine. I need spruce and go across like this. So what this is, is, haha, uh, funny way of saying it. Can I place the, the block, dude? Okay, yeah, what this is, is there's a lot of open area right here, and it's... A very odd, like, shape for buildings, I think. Well, in my, uh, professional opinion, it is. Really quickly, I'm gonna put the floor in. It's gonna be made out of andesite. Yeah, this is kind of- it's- it's a large area, but it's kind of awkward how it's, like, slanted. I thought I had the chance to do something cool with it. Uh, so, we're going to see if it turns out looking, like, decent and how I want it to. I don't know if what, if what I've said so far has made like any sense, so that's like brilliant. Yeah, large open space and kind of gonna be awkward to like fit buildings in, I think, so. I had an idea and like I was saying, I'm not sure if it's gonna look cool. I hope it looks cool because that would be cool if it looked cool, you know? What am I even saying right now? Okay, usually when I record in the morning, I'm not like this dumb, but this is going to be a pain in the ass to edit already. Uh, I can already see it. Yeah, as to as to what I'm gonna do, uh, you'll have to see, because you, you just are going to have to, like, wait and see, because I'm not gonna... You know what? I'm just gonna abandon this sentence thought entirely. You know what? How's your day going? Mine's going pretty ass, if you ask me, honestly. It's not going very well at all. Oh, why is that? Because I'm trying to record a video and my brain is like being a pancake right now. Yeah, hopefully uh, my brain power picks up a little and I can have a video. But in the meantime, I'm just, I'm just gonna build this building. It's another house. Surprise, surprise. There's going to be a lot of those because, like, I hope the heater's turned on. Like, the second floor and the first floor are, like, more shop-oriented, but I want this floor and, like, the fourth floor to be just, like, more town-oriented or, like, living space, if you know what I mean. Ah, uh, crap. I think I did something wrong here. Maybe... maybe not, um, but I'm not sure. I think it should be like this. Yeah, I think this is fine. My stupid phone has gone off, so I can't actually see. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is right. And if it's not, then that sucks for me. For you, you'd probably never know, honestly, because I'd end up just, like, cutting out the majority of what is, you know, wrong. I'm just going to sneakily save some white terracotta blocks by filling in these corners, which you can't see, with block that is not white terracotta. Now, that is a, it's a really, really smart move by me. Which, honestly, you don't see those too often. Not on this channel. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know if anything I've said so far this episode has made any sort of sense in any sort of way. Now what? Uh, it's a good question. Here's a talking point. I brought glass panes with me this time, so that's good, I guess. We all know how much I love forgetting to bring glass panes. Okay, here's here's the building. It, it kind of has the thing where I did on the apartment buildings on the first floor, where it like, has this base and it kind of comes out a little bit more. I wanted this to be like a, like a tall tower, like a square building, but there's actually not that much space, so I couldn't really 
you know, build a tower, so I just built this thing instead. Anyway, I think it's about time for me to do the roof, so I'm gonna do that as quick-like as I possibly can. I'll meet you back when it's done, so see you in a second. Okay, well, that was a rather long second, but the roof is mostly done. Still needs a little bit of work. It does kind of look like this right now, which is brilliant. So once again, I'm gonna do this amazing tactic of saving on white terracotta. Okay, that should be good and then so we need to put in the third floor which is just dark oak planks let's put this here um we do need more white terracotta to go along here to be the walls there's actually wi a window here i believe of course it has to go outside because we can't just go right to me so for once i did make too many dark oak stairs i still have like half a stack left we need more terracotta see the reason i'm trying to save on terracotta is because it's so expensive because i don't like going out and having to find clay all the time i'm thinking these are gonna have to be dark oak as well yeah how's this for a window can totally see out of it isn't that amazing okay here's like the top floor floor done so oh, of course there's one dark oak plank that i dropped that's really really annoying all right but anyway we can turn to some interior work now okay because once again i have a full inventory let's put down some stuff so we of course have our door downstairs is like kind of a kitchen area but not really but we have a blast furnace and a grindstone and in this corner we have a smoker and we're gonna do the thing with the chimney again because i really like doing it apparently then we have a barrel that goes here and spruce stairs that go here and then and over in this corner we have a couple of other barrels there we go and then there's a lantern on top of these so get out of here torch and there's a lantern on top of this one so this is the bottom area great living space uh, i must say you can see doc out there right so heading upstairs so we're gonna start out with strong with a corner bush because of course we are then we have another corner bush over here and here and that's all the corner bushes inside the house so let's get those out of my first you have a cyan bed right not no no here, yes. And then this block gets broken? No. no. Apparently not. Apparently not this one. This one does. Uh, this one becomes andesite. Oh, I put this bed in the wrong spot then. Uh, there's a chest behind it. Okay, so I was right the first time, even though I accidentally misclicked, but I was unintentionally right, so it's fine. And then the chimney uh, keeps on going up. Okay, and then we have a bookshelf that goes right here with some spruce trapdoors on it, like so. Okay, over here we have a table. This one goes here and this one goes like this. No, it doesn't. It goes like... Ugh. Like that. And there's another table over here. And this one has the flower pot with the blue orchid in it. Then we need to put down some lanterns. So the lanterns will go here. Get out of here, torch. One here and one in this corner over here. And then to finish off this area, we have a cyan carpet. Okay, moving to the upstairs area. We have, right next to these stairs, a table with an item frame and an iron hoe, uh, which will make sense later because... Actually, did I even say what this was? And I think I just said I had a cool idea. Well, regardless, you'll probably know from the thumbnail anyway and the title. So, yeah. I just said, so yeah. I realized. I realized this time. Okay, we have more andesite walls anyway going up through here. Uh, and another block of andesite going there. And I do still have to put the chimney in. Okay, so there's a chest here. Then three more barrels... What, did that one just change position when I placed it? Mm, that is this area done. That is the interior done. And now we're back to the exterior. So we'll start at the front and work our way around here. Okay, you have this. And then we're going to have acacia leaves, of course. Then four fences like so. And trap doors to be our window shutters. And that's that part. Down below, it is, it's just fences here. There's one exterior bush right here, and this window has a shutter as well. And over here, uh, we'll come back to this location. So we have this ledge kind of going all the way around. And then these windows are flanked by trapdoors. Um, and then there's like this upper sill thingy. How did I fall when I was in my inventory? I can't even move. Minecraft, what the heck? Okay, and we have fences like this. I should put some torches on this, Jen and I. Maybe like that. Okay, then going up even further, we have fence here, fence here, get rid of you and replace you with stair like this, and then, bruh, I do need to put some stairs in like this, and this is kind of like the roof corrections I was talking about, because I knew I missed some of these. Okay, and we get some, oh, too many leaf types, acacia leaves, right there. 
perfect. And we'll do that on the other side as well. But first we copy kind of the front decoration on the back with four bushes flanked by dark oak fences. Not like that. There we go. And then the decoration on the back is exactly the same as the decoration on the front. Um, if I could build it right, that is. We once again have our ledge, our fences, our trap doors, and our leaves. Exactly the same. And the same is true for this side, so let me just put all the blocks down for here. Okay, one last thing that I do need to do is the chimney, which is once again very close to the ceiling. It's the same chimney design that I, well, that I stole from Charizard, who took from someone else, but I really like it. I wish it wasn't so close to the ceiling, but it's alright. Filling up the entire cave with smoke, it's fine. Okay, the final touch I want to add is over here. I did something like this in the village I built with Charizard on the server. I'll put up a picture of basically what I did, and I kind of like that, so I do want to do it on this building. So, it's gonna be kind of awkward since there's no like grass here, but I think it's fine. So I want to kind of put some leaves around here. Kind of randomly. Kind of like this, although bring it about a little bit more so it looks a little bit more natural. That does not look very natural, this giant like square block of them. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe get rid of this one. But I want to change this one so it's not like with the other ones. You know what? I think that looks fine. It looks a little bit flat here, but I can't really do much about that. Maybe if I got rid of this one. But yeah, I, it, I think that looks fine. Obviously, it'll look better when there's like grass around. But that's going to be it for, I think, this building. Now, I'm going to do the rest of it. But I'm hoping I can use replay mod for it so I can make like a cinematic, which will be cooler because it's going to be very boring and I don't really want to do it on camera. So that's basically it. I'll see you when hopefully that bit is done. Enjoy the show, I guess. Alright, I'm finally back. And really quickly, I just want to show off everything that I've done because for some reason, Replay Mod kind of stopped recording even though it said it was recording, so I only got about half of what I actually recorded. I have done a little bit more work. So first thing is in the house, I added a back door so you can come and see the farm. I made this path out of gravel, tough, coarse dirt, and grass path. I had a couple of lanterns because there were some areas where the wheat hadn't grown even though I AFK'd here for like literally hours. But I added this path that went around, I added some grass, and I added this um, bulkhead, I guess. And yeah, here's one of the areas where like it's it's still not growing. I don't know why. Here's the barn. Uh, so we can come inside. So it's, I don't know how well it's actually going to show. Um, item frames keep bugging out. That's pretty awesome. Probably because it's a sheer amount of... I don't know if wheat is an entity, but... There's a lot of it. Okay. Yeah, we have this nice barn. We have some hay bales. A couple of hoes over here. Uh, some seeds. And up here there's not much. A couple of hay bales and a barrel. This is kind of the first time I think I've ever used jungle wood in one of these builds. I can't actually remember if that's true or not, but besides like on my main house, which isn't really like a cave colonization build, it's just kind of like my house. If we come down here, there's just, there's just more wheat. It just kind of ends here. There is that tunnel over there, but I don't think I'm ever going to do anything with that. But this does look pretty cool. It doesn't really look like how I imagined it because I wanted the farmhouse to kind of be like in the middle of the field but it ended up not being there, which is honestly probably a good thing because that would have been even more of a pain in the ass. Yeah, from over here, it looks, it looks pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Yeah, that's it for this build. Yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you... Oh, hello, Bat. Hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.